Welcome back. It's preview Saturday's Premier League match between Burnley and Southampton at Turf Moor. Pascal starting the wayside, dropped out the top four. Yeah, they have, and it's three defeats in a row. Now four games without winning total. And the mo three most recent games, they have been you know, difficult mm. fixtures against City, Arsenal and United. But you know, given how well they started the season, all the wins they were getting, they weren't against the top teams, but they were still winning so many games. And you know, into the top four, top two for a long time they were. You know, now they've dropped out. But if they had realistic top four ambitions, these are the sort of teams they have to be getting at least a point yeah. off. You, know, you have to stop them winning at the very least. But you know, they've lost three in a row Monday night against United. That was arguably probably the most disappointing of the three because you know, they're at home for that one. And United didn't play particularly well, but it was a mistake that gave the first goal away, you know, a dodgy back pass. And it, against Aston Villa in the first game of this four-game winner streak, it was another mistake there that cost them a goal there. You know, these are the sort of mistakes they weren't making at the start yeah. of the season. And, you know, it's just what they have to eradicate soon. Komen has to put a stop to it because otherwise they'll just keep sliding down mm. the table. And you mentioned the last three games has been sort of shown their injury problems, hasn't it? You know, teams like United had a lot of injuries, have been well documented, but they didn't play well on Monday night, but they sort of managed to get through the game, which is what the top teams do. Southampton have struggled the last three games. You know, they've had a lot of injuries. Toby Alderweireld, very good for them this season. He's coming in for Atletico. He played centre mid against Arsenal, centre back. Schneiderlin's obviously a big player for them. He's a big miss. Wanyama played well on Monday evening, but I think it's shown if you're going to finish in the Champions League, you need to be able to deal with injury problems, and they haven't really done that, have they? No, it'd be interesting to see you know, what their sort of ambitions are now, because obviously they started the season, they would have said you know, top four, but yeah. you know, now sliding down the table is the Europa League what they're going for now, because... Now they're starting to play the big teams. They haven't formed in the big games. So, and you wonder, you know, if this will sort of just... Because winning all those games, they would have been so confident. And even though the, the fixtures will get easier, they've got a tough month coming up. Yeah. The fixtures are bound to get easier in sort of February time. But it's whether by that time their confidence will be shot a bit and they might just be hoping for a top half finish, which would be disappointing because the way mm. they started the season, they would have really been hoping for a, you know, a really surprising mm. top six finish. They certainly will want to get back to winning ways this weekend. I mean, they enter against a Burnley side who done OK recently, lost last time out against QPR, which was disappointing for them, especially against... A a team that's going to be down there with them but they had picked up eight points from the four previous to that so they were on a decent run themselves definitely yeah and I think the game against QPR would have been particularly disappointing because like you say they, they were unbeaten in four going into that and they had a great record in because the, they both came up Burnley and QPR last season and in the two games against QPR in the championship last season Burnley did really well but they didn't quite perform obviously QPR they've been great at Loftus Road this season but you know Burnley you know they need to get back to winning ways because well this is a game they'll probably think yeah. about winning because the next four fixtures Spurs Liverpool City and Newcastle yeah. so they're all really tough fixtures. And home to Southampton, who are you know on a bad run of form, this is a fixture Burnley will want to win, but they've got a really bad record in December, and they? yeah. they've never won a Premier yeah. League fixture in December, so they want to put that right here. Do you think, that's gonna, do you think they're going to be able to put that right? Can you see Southampton getting back to winning ways? I'm going to back Southampton, I think. Obviously, we know how much quality they've got in their squad, and you know they'll be, as much as Burnley will want to win this, Southampton arguably perhaps more because yeah. of the recent run they've been on. So I'm going to back Southampton to win it 3-1. 3-1. I think, oh God, to be honest, I can't see the team winning. I think Burnley at home, they're going to have the, obviously the support behind them. So I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. I think Southampton might have to wait for three points. So we've got one win for Southampton and a score draw. Thanks for joining us.